We'll open the floor for questions. Clock starts now. Hey Barrett, uh, you've been through you know, camps at Notre Dame and, he, and now one here. How do you feel about the way the last three, four weeks have gone? Yeah, I think it's been a really physical camp so far. I mean, comparable to what I've been through before, so uh, my body was ready for it. And I think um, it's helping prepare everyone well. We've uh, split up into multiple groups throughout camp, so a lot of young guys getting reps, and so I think that's going to help us down the road. What went into your decision to come to Nebraska? Yeah, so for me, um, I always grew up a Husker fan, wanted to come here out of high school. It didn't work out. And, um, you know, watching the spring, hearing about using the fullback, I was super excited to, you know, get the shot to possibly do that role. How prominent is that role in your estimation? Yeah, I mean, we've been using it in practice, you know, for different situations. I think, you know, Coach Satterfield has a good feel for, you know, some whatever it may be, whether it be short yardage or base down stuff, you know, trying to find ways to move the football, run the ball in different ways, and just whether it be 11 personnel. As somebody who grew up a Nebraska fan and knows the importance of the fullback position here historically, what does it mean to you to be you know, the next generation of that? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's a big, I mean, it's a big responsibility, but uh, I don't think about that in the day-to-day. -day. Um, focus on, you know, just improving myself and uh, playing to the best of my standards. But obviously, but I mean, there's a lot of, yeah, there's been a lot of really great fullbacks through Nebraska. So looking forward to hopefully carry on that tradition. You kind of have your own niche or role, and like John Iron has his own niche role. Well. Kind of describe how they utilize the different fullbacks you guys have. Yeah, we, um, I mean, Coach Satterfield talks about a positionless offense, so, um, Sometimes they might motion or do some different things like that. It might be some true eye formation or it might be something like a wing. Um, so it can kind of, it just varies from play to play and what the situation brings. What do you like doing most? Big block, carrying the ball, you know, being a receiver from that position, what's your, what's your uh, bread and butter? Yeah, I mean, for me, I love hitting people. So yeah, blocking's been my forte since I was young in high school through college. So I like to hit, hit people. How do you set like a tone of toughness? You always think fullback is like the toughest position out there. How do you yeah, I mean, for me, it's just, you know, making sure every play I'm doing my job exactly how they ask. So um, bringing it every single practice, making sure that I have high urgency when I'm out there. Um, they're really setting the tone for the offense is what I'm trying to do when I'm there. Do you have any expectation of being on the field for the first offensive play in Minnesota? Um, I don't know what they're going to call, so um, I look forward to going out there when my name is called. What's your impression of, of Nebraska's emphasis on physical recovery as much as you did, and what's that been like for you? Yeah, I think they do a really great job, and with the brand new facilities, it's been awesome. Uh, we just went through the new car wash and cold tubs and hot tubs, so um, my body's really held up well. Focused a lot on you know keeping my traps and my shoulders healthy and my neck, so that's really been a point of emphasis here. Thank you, everybody. Cool. Thank you, guys. Thank you.